Hey internet clogging friends, we're continuing our at home clogging lessons. I hope you guys are having fun. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you're having any, any success, I'd love to help you celebrate that too. So let me know how you're doing. Love to hear from you. Uh, we're going to start off today's lesson warming up our double steps and our single basics. I'm going to progressively be speeding up the music. Um, so we can work on our sounds um, and get them up to a little bit of speed. And then today's lesson is mostly geared around a couple families of steps that rely on the heel clicking sound that we did in the previous lesson. We're going to expand on that today. Before we get started, just a couple things I want to share with you. The first is, uh, as you're learning these steps with names, I want you to be aware and keep in mind that there are times when people from other areas or other communities do sometimes call the steps by other names or slightly other names, but most of the time uh, the mainstream cloggers figure it out and we can still communicate with each other. So I'm teaching you this vocabulary as a way to learn, but I hope that I'm not teaching you to be um, stuck in one particular vocabulary and allow yourself to be fluid and open because um, that's part of the fun of this activity. For instance, you learn the fancy double, right? Double step, double step, rock step, rock step. If you go to Southern California, I'm right now in Georgia, if you go to Southern California, they call that same step a double rock two. But we, Generally speaking, we know how to understand each other and we get through things like that. A triple basic, double step, double step, double step, rock step, several different communities call those things like the Alamo because it has that uh, giddy up kind of sound to it. Da da dun, da da dun, da da dun, dun dun. Uh, so some of the clogging groups I know call it triple basic and Alamo. And it's almost like using English if you live in the United States or in Australia, or in the United Kingdom. We all speak the same language, but sometimes our words mean slightly different things, and that's all okay, because we're all having fun and learning to dance together. Um, so keeping that in mind, again, we're gonna start off warming up our double steps, our basics, and our triples, then we'll get started learning some new stuff today. The first song I'm gonna use is called Squirrel Hunters. This is a fiddle tune that I'm loving learning to play on the fiddle. You see my instruments over here. Um, in Florida, uh, we have a funny saying when someone's a pretty bad fisherman and they cast their line into the water and maybe it lands in the trees instead, we call those people squirrel hunters also. So I'm not really sure uh, the person who wrote the song what they intended, but it's still fun anyway. Let's get started, double steps. Here we go, and I'm gonna be speeding the music up as we go. Get the knees moving. Here we go, double steps, left foot, ready and go.
How about a fancy double? Good job. And especially for those of you who might know how to play music or be learning instruments or maybe the piano, uh, start to think about the fact that our downbeats are where our steps are on the double step, okay? So as we're doing the double before the step, the doubles counts are anda, and a. Uh. So anda one. If you were reading music, they would come before the measure, anda uh, one on the downbeat step down on it, okay? So when we're counting into our songs, we're working on our double steps, Remember that our double leads a little bit in front of the downbeat so that you can step down on the count on the downbeat. Okay, so when I get ready to have my knees going, okay, so I got and one, and two, and three, and four, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a basic, and a basic, and a triple, and a triple. Okay, so keep in mind that the double steps on all of our steps are coming in ahead of the beat and finishing on the beat instead of starting on the beat. They end on the beat. Okay, last lesson we talked about touches. Okay, so we had our steps that change weight, step, 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 and touches that don't change weight. And we also talked about doing touches and adding a heel click. We did this on the brush, right? The rocking chair, touches and brushes, okay? So when you're touching on, let's say the right foot touches, the left foot's gonna make a little sound by just lifting the heel and dropping it without a lot of energy or effort. We call it just a little click, okay? So touch, click, touch, click, Switch feet, left foot touch. One more. Okay, so let's start by learning a step called a hillbilly. Okay, the hillbilly is one double step and three touches and they're in front, slightly in front and in place, so they don't move. So all three touches are in the same place Left foot's gonna lead, double step, touch, click, touch, click, touch, click. Because we're touching on the same foot, notice that I'm lifting as I'm clicking, so that foot's free to touch again. Okay, so left foot here goes, double step, touch, click, touch, click, touch, click, and now the right foot's free. Five, six, right foot, Go, double step, touch, click, touch, click, touch, click, okay? Let's do four of them without stopping. Left, right, left, right. Five, six, hillbilly, left foot. Double step, touch three times. Right foot. Left foot. Right foot. Okay, remember we learned the chain step, what we also call a push off, right? And if I blindfolded myself, the chain and the hillbilly should sound the same. So here's what I mean by that. I'm gonna do one of each. So if you want, you can close your eyes and listen. Here's a chain or a push off. And here's a hillbilly. So arguably, slightly different dynamic, but for the most part sounds the same and definitely the same rhythm, okay? So our hillbilly step, we can modify just a little bit if we move our touches instead of doing them in place. And we're gonna learn a step called an outhouse. Some of our clogging steps have kind of funny names that are endearing to us. We, so you can, it's okay to laugh 
at some of these names because uh, we're all part of the joke. We all uh, enjoy kind of making fun of ourselves a little bit, keeping it light. All right, so left foot's gonna start on this one, and three touches, left foot's gonna do double step, double step, but our touches are gonna go out first. So remember, out on the outhouse. So out, touch, click, then in front, click, and then out again. There's your three touches, out, front, and out. Left foot starts, double step, double step, out, click, front, click, out, click. Let's try it on the right foot. Double step, out, click, in, front, and out. Let's try doing four outhouses. Left, right, left, right. Five, six outhouses. Here we go. Double step, out, front, Feels right. Let's do four more. Let's keep going. Four more. Two more. Let's go back to the hillbilly. Three touches in place. principle, we're going to move those touches in a different order. And this is one of those steps that has different names in different places. So in the South, this step is generally called a donkey. Uh, some people use the term donkey to do the opposite of an outhouse. So for those people, it would go double step in front then out and back in front. So the opposite touch pattern as uh, an outhouse. But I think most people that I know in the South use the term donkey to use it to kind of go around the clock. So you're going to do one touch in front, one to the side, or out to the side, and one back. So it's going to go left foot double step, double step, touch in front, touch out, touch behind. It's almost a rock step there, okay? So left foot's going to go double step, touch in front, to the side, touch back. Now the right foot goes. Double step, touch in front, to the side, behind. Left foot. Double step, front, back. Oh, sorry, left foot. Double step, front, side, then back. Double step, front, side, and back. Double step, front, side, and back. Double step, front, side and back. I think people who call the donkey step, double step, front, out, front, would call the version of donkey that I do maybe a, uh, a donkey touchback or a donkey rock back to illustrate that there's that touch behind there. So let's put those steps together and go through all of those so far. Starting with our hillbilly. Five, six hillbilly, left, foot. We're going to touch in place. Now here comes outhouse. Remember to touch out. a donkey. Touch in front, side, and back. Front, side, back. Double step. Front, side, back. Good job. Okay, there's a similar step here I want to point out. It's called a Burton stamp. 
So the Burton stamp is like the hillbilly we did, except instead of touching, you're going to stamp. And remember, in our previous lesson, we talked about stamp versus stomp. So our touch does not change weight, and our stamp with the letter A also does not change weight. So you can do the hillbilly and sub a stamp instead of that touch. It goes like this. Double step, stamp, stamp, stamp. And you still have that heel click. Five, six, ready, again. Double step, stamp. And five, six, left foot again. Okay, right foot. Five, six, right foot, go. Five, six, right foot, go. Okay, this step is called a Burton Stamp. Some people call it a Burton. Um, the full name is Burton Stamp. So now, I'm gonna play a little bit of music, and we're gonna call through those steps that we've been working on so far. The hillbilly, the outhouse, the donkey, and the Burton Stamp. And I might even throw some single basics in there too to just give your minds a little break in between and just get used to transitioning. So remember, relax. And if you mess up, then just stop, shake it off, get ready to jump back in and do it again. Or you can always rewind the video and watch it again too. So here we go. Put on some music. Basic. 
right. That is our lesson on the touches, as well as your hillbilly, your outhouse, your donkey, and your Burton stamp. You can watch this as many times as you want to. Also look out for music practice videos I'm going to be posting where you can learn little mini routines with the steps that you guys already know. Hope you're having fun. Again, let me hear from you. Have a great day.